Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 2, the ultimate cleric guide. Let's move on in the Dragon Shrine. Uh, at the end of the last episode, I actually went ahead and more back to what you call it, Drang Lake Castle. I tried to get some co-op sessions. No luck. Maybe my soul memory isn't high enough, so I think I cleared the DLCs first and the rest of this. Uh, well, pretty much the game. And then I'll go and take out the... I might take out the Throne Watcher and Defender. Just to get that over with so that I don't have to fight back-to-back -back bosses. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, I have a feeling that these dragons should go down pretty easily. I'll kill the dragons. Not sure if I'll get the Crystal Lizards on screen. Because I want to try making some progress. I am definitely going to buff up for the next dragon. Although I'm taking it out quickly enough so you know this is just some like, so, like an opportunity to get petrified dragon bones and that's always nice even though the crown of the sunken king is a much better place to farm oh well I think I still hey I didn't know they can drop both of them well you learn something new each playthrough anyways I think I'll be able to get through pretty much this whole area in this episode depending on how long the dragon shrine is gonna take luckily we don't actually that was perfect that was honestly perfect well done explodey guy you got me oh well actually I think my other ring is broken so I'll have to go on without one at least I think it is broken I guess we'll find out now. I only have two, so... You know, what can you do? Just hope I don't get invaded or something. Actually, that's probably not... Yeah, okay, we're gonna go with... Ring of Giants. I mean, why not? Ring of Giants is always a good thing to like fall back on. If you have nothing else. God damn it. They're gonna break my shit if I'm not careful. Do I have any repair powder? That's the question. Six. You know what? I'll use one just in case. Just not gonna take that risk. So I might as well go ahead and pick some of these up. I know, I know, I said I wouldn't get the crystal lizards, but... If there are a few in the way, I might as well kill them. That was... Thank you. I still need to upgrade the disc chime. Oh, why? Yeah, why am I rolling with the shield? I think I switched it for the PvP sessions. But yeah, I still need to upgrade this disc chime to plus 10. And then after that, I'll be pretty much done with my equipment. Not sure if I want to get. I'm only level 122. So I still have a ways to go till 150. Besides getting the 10 points of faith, I want to get to 60. I might still get some points to increase my dex. Because at this point my dex is pretty much the lowest it can be. At 5. And that kind of limits my weapon choices a lot. Even though I do have the strength for a lot of weapons, the dex is needed still. I want to use the Dragon Chime of course because the buff is going to be stronger that way. And we always want more strength. Holy shit, this spell is strong. Although my faith is really high, I'm using the best catalyst in the game. So what do you expect? Plus with a fast weapon like this. I mean, this weapon is good because it's fast and it hits hard. Relatively. So, yeah, definitely... Wow, shit. Luckily, with X-type weapons, it's not that difficult to hit Crystal Lizards on their own. Oops. How did I miss that? Oh, well, whatever. We're not gonna go for it, because I'm gonna get torched here if I'm not careful. Alright. 
only problem with this weapon is the range. But, you know, that's a minor thing. Okay, good. So that is all the dragons done for. So if I ever need the upgrade materials, I can just come through here. I showed this run before, I think, on screen. So I'll just do it off screen, because... It can take two or three tries, depending on how lucky I get. This thing lasts, the buff itself lasts for quite a while too. I wasn't really counting, but it lasts for like a good minute or so. Maybe even more. And there's the Dragon Shrine. This is such a cool looking area. Really well designed, I think. You know, that's the thing. Uh, Dark Souls 2 does lack like a lot of memorable areas besides you know like the obvious you have a lava area things like that i think that's why i like shova a lot because it's unique and that's why i like this place it's not like a standard castle instead it's a castle in the sky so what else do you want but this area is really tough so yeah, I'm gonna prepare myself for a good few deaths. Although you never know. The heal, the fact that I can heal is gonna help. I'm not just relying on my Estus a lot of the times. But I'm definitely skipping this asshole because... Well, you know the reasons. Oh shit. How the hell did he hit me? Oh, he must have gone through the opening here. Anyways, we're gonna take care of this cleric here, who is actually using the dragon chime, I think. Yes, she is. Oh no, she's not. Hey, I got the headpiece. I think this is the only enemy that drops this set, though. Because I know you can get the male version. Oh fuck, this. I, I know, I screwed up. Because it decreased my spell castings. Oh well. Haven't been using these herbs that much, so might as well use one now. Eat a lightning spear. That actually does decent damage, and that's good. I always manage to break this chest, but I think it contains a dragon chime, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's a twinkling. Oh yeah, I remember. Now. Anyways, I don't really need twinkling titanite that much. Might upgrade us another special weapon, but I don't know yet. If anything else, I want to get the Crescent Axe, but I honestly don't know what the stat requirement on that thing is. 14 dex and 25 strength. That is quite a bit, though. So that might be a problem. Okay. And I know technically I could cast with the... Ouch. We want to take care of him before the other one arrives. I could cast with the disc chime, but I want more damage. Especially when I'm dealing with these enemies. Can you like... Fucking hell. This guy is so strong. Yeah, I'm just gonna go lightning spear his ass. And Emmet forced him as well. Okay, that should kill him. Thank you. And this guy really is the most difficult enemy here. Well, actually, the dragons can give you trouble, depending on how you're doing. I th I'm just thinking about where I can get another copy of Great Lightning Spear. I think someone told me it's in the Undead Crypt, where Olenford's staff is. Ouch. That hurts. At least I can heal. But that Heavenly Thunder worked out pretty well. Just gotta... Maybe get another one, another one in there. And that should... Please. Thank you. That's all I needed. Once one of them is down, the other one falls quickly. Okay, the dragons... The dragons are kind of assholes. I'm gonna try 
think you can lure them out one by one. Yes, you can. I thought I was on Emmet Force, but I wasn't. Oh shit, nice dodge. That was a smart move. I was trying to obviously um, guard break him, but he knows better than that. I was gonna know what I'm trying to do. That tracking. I don't know if I've never used this weapon, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't track that much in the actual game if you use it. That damage. Okay, luckily that's like the end of his tether. I'm not dealing a lot of damage. That's the problem. These guys are pretty resistant to lightning weapons, I think. God damn, how does how the fuck does he know? I'm trying to guard break him. They have a lot of stamina too. Luckily, not much poise. Thank you. One down. Like two, I think, to go. Yeah, because there's one at the top as well. I'm going to try using a force. See if that does anything. Probably a bad idea. Do these dragons respawn? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't actually know. I'm pretty sure they don't because that's why farming for the black dragon weapons. Besides maybe the... Ouch. Maybe the black dragon greatsword is really annoying. I'm pretty sure these guys don't respawn. Please... RNG. I think that hit him once, but that didn't do much. Stunlock, thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, luckily these guys are not smart enough to get out of your, not aggro range, but like stunlock, unlike real players. Now these two assholes can once again be kind of a challenge. I'm just really hoping that Heavenly Thunder pulls through for me. Thank you, Heavenly Thunder. Yes. Excellent. Let's use a great heal. Hey, drops. I like to see drops. What do we have here? Dragon Charm and the Dragon Charm. Disappointing. I was hoping to get the weapon or the shield. But it looks like that is not going to be happening. Hey there, Dragon. You're the last one standing in my way. Hey, a lightning buff sword doesn't break you. Well, actually it does. That is a really good shield, by the way. And the sword, too. It's really good because it attacks so quickly. You can pretty much outpace any weapon. That is a big fucking dragon, I'll tell you that much. I know I've never fought him on any of my playthroughs. The thing is, he's such a cool dragon, I don't want to like kill him. Plus he's supposed to be like really annoying to fight, so yeah, that's another thing. I did, I do know like how to beat him, I've seen videos of it before, and yeah, it does look really annoying. Okay, and even if I need to kill Vendrick, that one giant soul he drops really doesn't make too much of a difference. What am I doing? I can just warp the fuck out of here. I'm not going to collect the dragon egg or anything, I think. But I will go ahead and level up. I'm only 14 minutes in, so I think what this means is... I think I'll try taking out Throne Watcher and Defender... I'll need to summon Benhart, and that, I think that's gonna, if he survives, that's gonna complete his quest. Isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Well, first we're gonna head back to Mijula, I wanna repair my rings and see if I can level up. And yeah, I will be able to get Benhart set. I think maybe the thing I want most is his helmet, but I've never had his armor, so... We'll see if I can mix it, mix and match it with something. Okay, first things first. I'm going to check how many 
I have two Titanite chunks. That's not gonna be enough. I need one more. Oh well, I'll I'll be able to get one back in the Dragon Shrine. I'm not gonna buy one from what's her name right now. Mainly because she's pretty expensive too. Okay, level up. And I think I have 51. Hmm. I want to get a bit more endurance. Maybe some dex. Yeah. I think that's good like that. Okay, back to Drang Lake Castle. These bosses shouldn't be too much trouble, I think. But you never know. The only thing is, I'm still worried about getting Sunlight Spear and getting summoned. I'm really hoping people can still summon others, maybe like Ava or... I think Rame, people have been telling me that Rame is my best option. Because there are some bros here. It's just, I personally never get summoned. Maybe I should put my sign down outside the gate. I'm, I might try that at the end of this episode and see if I get a couple of matches. Because other than that, I really don't know if this doesn't work. I don't know how I'm going to get. Because I need 30 sunlight medals. So 30 co-op sessions. I still think what's his name is Rame is the best option I have because he's the toughest boss in the game. But you know, we'll see. We'll see. And I know I should have attuned Sacred Oath for this boss. But you know, I'll keep Great Magic Barrier, that might help. Just hopefully Banhart is gonna show up here. I think he shows up here regardless. Of like summoning him for the giant lord. Because I really don't want to deal with the giant lord with Banhart. Because he, he just has problems. His AI dealing with like running through the fire and shit. Yeah, they're both here. So this is the head of Vanguard who I definitely don't want to summon. But Banhart, on the other hand, I do want to summon... Raise the sun, Banhart. Yeah, he's not gonna do an emote. He's not advanced like the other NPCs, but I think I've said this before. I don't know why I'm using the... I'm turning into Bubble Man here. I just feel like it. Okay, this is the best scenario here. Holy shit, someone is weak to lightning. Someone is very weak to lightning. If I could just hit you, holy fucking shit. That is ridiculous. Okay, one down. Yeah. That was fast. Thanks, Benhard. Praise the sun. Where is he going? Well, I really don't care. That was probably the quickest Watcher and Defender fight I've had so far. Um, it's really good when they both decide to focus on Benhard. It doesn't always happen. But really, as you can see, it's the best scenario because you can just pummel them and win. It looks like, like I said, they're weak to lightning. Apparently. Especially the Watcher, it seems like. Anyways, I'm gonna warp to the Forest of the Fallen Giants and see if... Benhard is actually gonna give me his shit. He should, really. Except maybe the... No, I think he gives you the weapon too. Not that I need that weapon. It's kind of... Not the best. I wonder if you can buff that thing. Because that would scare people. Because it would look like I'd have a buffed Moonlight Greatsword. But I'm pretty sure you can't buff it. And I'm pretty sure I don't have the stats for, the, for it.
Oh well, I guess we're gonna find out right now. But this was, I would say, a very successful episode. I have... I didn't think I would manage to take out the Watcher and Defender too. I thought that the... what you call it... The Dragon Shrine would take up all my time. But apparently not. Maybe I am getting better at this game. You're dead. God, these guys are so fucking annoying. I have 52,000 souls, so I would prefer not to lose that. Okay, that was kind of weird. What did you drop? A life gem. Okay, I guess I'll use one then. So, let's get up here. Such a cool area. The lighting really makes this area shine. No pun intended. Gotta praise the sun, as always. Okay, let's hope this actually works. It should. I mean, I think you need to th summon him for three bosses. Okay, please, Banhart. Hmm. Huh. Weird. I thought that really would get him to... Huh. I honestly have no idea. I thought you only needed to... Because I summoned him for the Mirror Knight. Oh, I collected this already. I summoned him for the Mirror Knight. I summoned him for the... Uh, Prowling Magus and the Congregation. And now I summoned him for the Watcher. And he survived. I made sure he survived each time. So I don't exactly know. Maybe you need to summon him for four bosses. Which means I'll probably... I'll probably do Elana with him. That still seems easier than the Giant Lord. Anyways, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 2. And I'll see all of you next time. Praise the sun.